All right, this will be easy if I've talked to you before. So tell me who you are, not on my list, and which you should be a little bit closer. Tell us who you are and what you're going to do. I am in the program as Jervis Public Library, so you can address me as Ms. Library. Ms. Library. I was kind of wondering about that. How does, one, how does a library perform? Well, here I am. Uh, you know that it wouldn't be a local variety show without an ad for your local public library, our favorite nonprofit, our second favorite nonprofit, here in the capital, of course. So, uh, okay, so what, what, you, uh, what are you going to do? Well, I am going to read the most difficult children's book ever written, Fox and Socks. Believe me, it's a talent. It is a talent. There's some twisters in it. There are. Had I known that everyone else is, was singing, I would have arranged a beatbox. However, we are a little bit short on time. Do you need me to do the beatbox for you? Would you? No, I really can't. Uh, all right, where would you like to, uh, you need the podium or you're right out front? Oh, I'll grab the mic. Okay. Please, Miss Library. to bring it down because I am way down here. But that reminds me of my third favorite library joke. Uh, why is the library the tallest building in town? Because it has the most stories. Yes, thank you. I can't see you, so you have to laugh, so I'm going to Anyway, Fox in Socks by Dr. Seuss. And I promise this is going to become apparent why it's a skill. The first page, which you may or may not be able to see, says, Take it slowly, this book is dangerous. We will not be taking it slowly. We will be reading Fox and Socks at full speed. Fox. Socks. Fox. Knox. Knox in box. Fox in socks. Knox on fox in socks in box. Socks on knocks and knocks in box. Box in socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come chicks with blocks. Come chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks. Come look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First I'll make a quick trick brick stack, then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack, you can make a quick trick clock stack. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks and box. You can see how this would be a lot better with a beatbox, right? <laughs> now we come to ticks and talks. Sir, try to say this mixer, Knox, sir. Fox on fox tick, clocks on Knox talk, six sick bricks tick, six sick chicks talk. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir, mixed up with the chicks and talk, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. So sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks, who socks, Sue's socks. Who sews whose socks? Sue sews Sue's socks. Who sees who sew whose new socks, sir? You see Sue sews Sue's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. Who sews crow's clothes? Sue sews crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow slow sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. Sue sews socks, so fox in socks now. Slow Joe Crow sews knocks in box now. Sue sews rose on slow Joe Crow's clothes. Folk fox sews hose on slow Joe Crow's nose. Hose goes, rose grows. Nose hose goes some, crow's rose grows some. 
Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue untamed, sir. Mr. Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. We'll find something new to do now. Here is lots of new blue goo now. New goo, blue goo, gooey, gooey. Blue goo, new goo, gluey, gluey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what that goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If sir, you sir, choose to chew, sir, with the goo goose chew, sir. Do, sir. Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it. I won't chew it. Very well, sir. Step this way. We'll find another game to play. Bim comes, Ben comes, Bim brings Ben broom, Ben brings Bim broom, Ben bends, Bim's broom, Bim bends, Ben's broom, Bim spends, Ben's bends, Ben's bent broom breaks, Bim's bent broom breaks. Ben's band, Bim's band, big bands, pig bands, Bim and Ben leave bands with brooms, Ben Ben bangs, and Bim's band booms. Pig band, boom band, big band, broom band, my poor mouth can't say that, no sir, my poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well then, bring your mouth this way, I'll find it something it can. Say, Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke Luck licks lakes. Luke's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks in lakes. Luke Luck likes. Luke Luck takes licks in lakes. Duck likes. I can't blab such blibber blubber. My tongue isn't made of rubber. Mr. Knox, now come now, come now. You don't have to be unfun now. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Brew three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free Please sneeze. Stop it, stop it. That's enough, sir. I can't say such silly stuff, sir. Very well, then, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's have a little talk about wheel wheels. What do you know about wheel wheels? Well, when Tweedle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweedle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedle Beetle puddle battle. And when Tweedle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle puddle paddle battle. And when beetles battle beetles in a puddle paddle battle and the beetle battle puddle is a puddle in a bottle, they call this a tweedle beetle bottle puddle paddle battle metal. And when beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a muddle puddle tweedle poodle beetle noodle bottle paddle battle. And now wait a minute. Mr. Fox. When a uh, fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Buddle Paddle Muddle Duddle Fuddle Wuddle Fox in Socks, sir. Fox in Socks are gay. Is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. Now is your tongue numb? Very, very, very difficult, by It is. 
I said it was one of the most difficult children's books ever written to read aloud, and I am not even the children's librarian at Jervis. Well, and the other thing, uh, you read it <laughs> so rhythmically and quickly, almost, almost rapping. He may be the original, the original rapper. Dr. Seuss was the original many things. A rapper, I must say, was one of them, but his rhymes do slap. They slap. Very nice. Uh, I could not let you get off the stage without at least telling everybody what's coming up at Jervis. What an excellent question, a question for which I should have been prepared. I know that right after this variety show today, we are having a special reception for gold card library holders. If any of you heard about the Mid-York Library road trip over the summer, the ultimate pride, prize to which was a golden library card, which I have, and I will show you. Right? Because who doesn't carry their library card in their pocket? Look at this, isn't it beautiful? Woo! Woo! Yes. yes, it is. Uh, next week, we've got story times, we've got crafts, we've got pumpkin painting coming up, we've got art classes, we have all kinds of things. If you would like to stop by the library today, we're open until 3 o'clock, after which only gold card members are allowed. All right, nice round of applause, everybody, for this.